How you doing out there? For those that didn't get the memo, my name is Jay-Z and I'm pretty fucking awesome. Meet hip-hop superstar Jay-Z. You might know him for causing a stir at Glastonbury this summer. But that's not even half the story. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... If there's one rapper you need to know about, it's him. He's a phenomenon, the best in the business. His mind is just in a, another place, you know, just the way he puts it together just is amazing to me. He's like a heavyweight champion that will fight anyone who comes his way. That fighting spirit has netted him an estimated $500 million. He's a smart guy. He's a very smart guy. You don't get to be iconic by not being smart. The number one fan on the list, I'm that fan. Everybody put your diamonds back up. I love the way that looks. Let's wind back. It's two months before Glassman, and I've been summoned to L.A. I'm in Jay-Z's convoy of shiny SUVs, en route to the Hollywood Bowl for a massive gig featuring Jay and singer Mary J. Blige. Jay-Z's in the car in front, and while his vehicle has sailed through, it seems like they're slightly less keen on letting me in. One more. We're all together. Yeah, none of them should have come up this way. So what are we doing? What do you want us to do? Stop us for no reason to be a super cop. Okay. Finally, we're in. Backstage, the entourage are hanging out. Jay Brown on the right, and Tata on the left, Jay-Z's very best friend from his childhood. The gang are clearly in the mood to party. That's what you love. It's Jay's uh, champagne. And what's the name of the champagne? Ace of Spades. <laughs> this is the, the rosé. <laughs> this right here... It's for James, the cameraman. So you got the very expensive one, James. Yep. And you got it too. We got it too. <laughs> and then, just like that, the man himself emerges. Hey, good man. Thank you. Man. Oh, boy, look, huh? Welcome. Thank you. Enjoy the show. I will. This is not a good seat. You got to go out there and we'll experience be out there. it live. You're very relaxed, John, just before the uh -huh. show. You've been, just had a... Yeah. Which is cool hold, ice cool like my shirt. That's it. Over and done. My first meeting with Jay-Z. Short but sweet. Look over there, isn't that? Diana Ross. Yes, that's Diana Ross. Oh, we got curfew. Go. But the tall man in the tux didn't come from a champagne swigging background. Jay Z hails from the mean streets of Brooklyn, New York. His is a compelling rags to riches story. It forms the backbone of his music. And he's heading out to a capacity crowd who know his tale. I love him for it.
So those formative days in Brooklyn, do they feel like a long time ago? It feels like uh, a whole different lifetime, you know, just because the things that I was into and, you know, the things that I'm into now. It's weird because it feels like yesterday as well. I couldn't be the person I am now without the wealth of experience and the, you know, the things that I've learned growing up and the situations that I was put in that I had to navigate through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jay-Z was born in 1969. He grew up in the Marcy Projects, social housing for low-income families. Drugs and violent crime were everywhere. Jay sent me a guide to the area, a friend of the family. He's called Stutter. So that's Marcy Project there? Yeah, it's Marcy Project it's right over here. Man, like, I mean, it's the area where Jay and his whole childhood crew basically grew up at. Like right here and to the other side of you um, is also mossy. So it's huge. Yeah, it's kind of a big project. <laughs> but the moss area, the whole best eye area would be a, I mean, like a tough part to grow up in. Seeing back in the days there's a high crime rate, a lot of drug dealing going down. But like, like wasn't anybody giving us anything back then. I mean, if you wanted something, you had to put your foot forward and go grab what you wanted. I mean, it's the basketball court where he used to play basketball at right here in this little park area. Ease up a little bit. Man, like, if you look right here, I mean, that's J.O.'s building right here, which is 534 Flushing Avenue. That's where it all started at, the fifth floor. And that's where he lived with who? Um, his mother, um, his two sisters, and his brother. Um, Mama Carter, um, Gloria Carter, she is the backbone of the family. I mean, man, she keeps everything intact. I love that lady to death. So was it tough growing up in Marcy? I mean, I loved the, the way I grew up. I loved my upbringing. I wouldn't want it any other way. You know, it's like, you, like a maze, right? You start at this point and you make it through. You know, that's, you know, Marcy was my maze um, in life. I wouldn't want any other way. I mean, I love it. If I shoot you, I'm brainless. But if you shoot me, be famous. What's a nigga to do when the streets is watching? Block, keep blocking, waiting for you to break. Make your first mistake. In a funny kind of way, Marcy was your muse, too.